everyone, Super Mario Studios 1990 here. Today I got a new capture card for my game videos. Um, so before, I used to use the Avermedia Live Gear Portable 2 Plus with my live streams. Uh, I sometimes had troubles with this. So, um, well, I found the thing okay that I wasn't able to record this. So I'm going to be trying out the, the new Elgato HD60S Plus. Yep, this thing is, will record at 1080p 60 FPS and HDR, and it can also pass through 4K 60 FPS and HDR, but it can record at 4K 30 FPS. This thing is compatible with the PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch, but it's also compatible with other consoles that only use HDMI cables. Recent, the PS5, it will work, it will also work with the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. This thing will also work on Mac and Windows. How Yep, so um, we're going to be opening up the thing about what does it include. And it also has instant game view, so we're going to be unboxing the thing of what does it include to see how it compares to either this against this. Alright, now let's try to open up the Elgato HD60S Plus capture card, so... Um, you open it right here, and you open it like up here, yeah, when it comes inside is this, it comes inside of this little box here, yeah, so this is what the box looks like for the Elgato, and yeah, this is what it includes, so um, we got the Elgato HD60S Plus, yep, so this will help me with my game videos, um, let's see what else did you also get besides it, you also got uh, an HDMI cable, which you know, this, no, 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 wait, never mind. This is, oh yeah, this is a USB cable, a uh, USB-C to USB 3.0 cable, but I'm going to be using these on the MacBook Pro, so I bought an additional USB-C to USB-C cable, so screw this thing. Uh, next up is an HDMI cable. Um, this is to connect up the capture card to the console and then the TV. Uh, we also got the uh, uh, thing like we got an instruction manual and a sticker. Alright, so the comparison between the Elgato HD60S Plus versus the Avermedia Live Gear Portable 2 Plus is resolution. So, um, the Avermedia Live Gear Portable 2 Plus can only record capture at 1080p 60fps. However, it does say that it has a 4K pass through, so this is an upgraded version of the Avermedia Live Gear Portable 2. So, that, you know, this thing can only pass through 4K at 60fps. The only thing it has in the back here is uh, two HDMI ports uh, HDMI in and HDMI out. A USB B to USB A type connection and a micro SD card slot. So um for this um we got the volume and uh, we also got the uh, this the circle the headphones for the, this one's for the controller this one's for the headset. We also got a switch here for the you know this is for um computer PC. You know you can either record this directly through a PC or live stream your sessions. We can also switch it to PC free mode, which you know, you'll need a micro SD card to connect this thing, and there's SD card mode, which you know is to ch transfer your SD card files to a computer so you can create, edit, and share. Yep, so now let's compare this. Wait, but I also forgot one thing if you put it in PC free mode, you'll have to press the record button right here on top only when it's flashing blue. And on PC mode, this will work with any kind of streaming service, any kind of like multi-app like OBS and the Avermedia app well, well this will only work on the PC with the Windows it will work on OBS both the Mac and Windows yep so now let's compare this to the Elgato HD60S Plus okay so the Elgato HD60S Plus can be recorded via a PC like you know there's an HDMI port here on this side there are three ports actually headphone you know you cannot use the uh, you can use either a headset or the Elgato chat link cable. Uh, it's recommended to use the Elgato chat link cable. There's also this HDMI cable and a, U and a USB connection, which is USB-C to USB 3.0. There's also another HDMI port here, which is for the out. Oh. Yep, so it, this is for like, you know, this is the USB cable here that came with the thing here. However, this is a USB 3.0A, which, you know, you're going to need a Windows computer for or the older Macs. However, if you're going to record on MacBook Pro, I recommend getting a USB-C to USB Type-C. This thing will also work with other 
capture tools like the Game Capture software by Elgato or the 4K Capture Utility tool. This will also run on OBS, Streamlabs OBS, XSplit, etc. So now time to see how they connect. Okay, so the AverMedia Lag Gear Portal 2 Plus uses, um, like, you know, for the, has its own HDMI cable here. Now, let me tell you, this is a very short HDMI cable, so you need to connect it, like, right in the back here. So, this is the back right here. Yep, and, you know, this is to go to the console for HDMI input. You, you, it's recommended to use the smaller one for the longer one, you know, for the longer one, it's to go right here. Then, it also has its own USB-C cable. B table, you know, it's the connect here at the back, yeah, yeah, this is the USB, you know, to go into your console for power, or you can record via a PC, or live stream your sessions, yep, this thing will work with any kind of streaming tool, including OBS and Streamlabs OBS, yeah, so, now it's time to check out how the Elgato HD60S Plus uses its connection. Okay, so Elgato HD60S Plus uses uh, an HDMI cable here. Uh, this one's to connect to you either from the, you know, this is for the monitor or TV for output. Yep, so we'll have to take the lids off of this thing. This is to go to your console for power. You know, like right here. Yep, so that's what it is. This is the USB 3.0 to USB type cable. Yep, so we're supposed to unravel it nowadays, and now, you know, here's how it goes like USB C cable right here is to connect to this plug here. Yep. This is the USB 3.0 cable. This will go into either a uh, Windows or an older Mac. But however, I'm going to show you what happens if you use a USB-C to USB-C cable. And then you connect it to a MacBook. So I'm going to show you how what happens. So I brought a, a USB Type-C cable to USB Type-C. So if you connect this to the Elgato HD60S Plus, here's what would happen. Okay, that's how you connect in. This will go into your MacBook Pro. I have a 2019 model, so... We're gonna see how you can set this up against... Like, you know, I already did a video on how you can set up the AverMedia Live Gear and Portable 2 Plus, so... I'll send a link in the description below. So, now time to see what happens if we set up the Elgato HD60S Plus. So, here's how it either works. You're gonna need the Elgato HD60S Plus, a console that uses HDMI cables, two HDMI cables, one that is for this here to connect to the capture card, and the other one that is in the console, uh, a one USB C cable, like you know, like this one right here, but how? If you own a Windows you're gonna, or an iMac, you need to use this to connect. However, if you own a MacBook Pro, you can only use a USB, a USB C to USB Type C cable here, like these two here, to connect to the MacBook Pro. You see, that's the MacBook Pro I have over there. That is, it's enough. And then, what else do you also need for your capture card? A TV or monitor? And a computer. Before setting up your capture card, head on to system settings, then go to HDMI, and then head on, on to disable and enable HTTP. You have to disable it so you can use a capture card. And, so, and then after that, you gotta turn off the console. Alright, so for the first HDMI cable, we're gonna plug it into the there we got plugged into the PS5, so this one will go into the, the HDMI input here, like, you know, this into the in here. Alright, now, now that the second HDMI cable is not plugged into the TV, now we're going to plug it into the out right here. Yep. 
no, all we need is the USB-C cable. Alright, so now for the USB-C cable, we're going to be using these two because I have a MacBook Pro. So we're going to connect this one right here. Right here, next up. We're going to be uh, connecting this right here. See, that's right there. Alright, there it is right there. <sighs> Alright, now it's connected, so um, now it's time to either open up the screen tool, but before we do that, we have to make sure that the phone is turned off, or we could just turn it off. So, mine will get to show you how we can do it. Alright, so um, when you're on OBS, you should always choose the game capture software. You can choose the, re the resolution that's supposed to be going up with. And now we gotta set up the... There you go, the current setting is cropped up. Now, press it on, Good. there you go. You can either live stream or record, so we're gonna press start recording. So, um, we're gonna press on record. And now, we're recording gameplay. Then you press stop recording again. So, remember, this is OBS. Stop recording. Yep, now we're going to show you what happens if we use the Elgato Game Capture software. Alright, so this is, what the Elga this is what the capture software looks like for Elgato Game Capture HD. So we're using the Elgato HD 60F Plus, so just like OBS, you can either record or live stream it. So let's press record. So right there is where the record button is. Press on record. And now we're recording. You press stop recording again to stop. Overall, the Elgato HD 60S Plus is a much more reliable capture card. Though, the game, this thing is going up for like 200 bucks. However, if you don't want to spend so much money, then you can get, you can get yourself the HD 60S, though. You're going to have to deal with the lagging issues in my house. So, for capture cards, I recommend the Elgato HD 60S Plus. Yeah, so anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and also hit that bell. Like and subscribe to this video and also comment down below of you know what do you think of this capture card? Have you thought of planning to get one? Yeah, so anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Oh, and also, guys, I would also like to give three shoutouts here today. The first shoutout goes to GamerDude177. Follow him on TikTok, which his TikTok is Super Mario Brothers Shorty, I don't remember. And his P add him on PSN. His PSN is GamerDude405. Oh, and also shout out to Crash Bandicoot Big Fan. Also, add him on PSN. His PSN is Tar0510Tar. And now let's head on to the last shout out. Last shout out goes to Jafet the Kuna. Follow him on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And also add him on PSN. His PSN is the same thing as his YouTube channel, Jafet the Kuna.